All Australian state governments have strict regulations about who can harvest kangaroos for wild game meat and where harvesting can take place. Government licences are only issued to specially trained harvesters that are accredited and licensed by state government authorities. All field harvesters must demonstrate their knowledge and skills in game harvesting before they can be accredited and licensed. Firstly, they must successfully complete a government approved training course. This training course covers humane killing procedures, anti-mortem inspection, hygienic field processing, post-mortem procedures, correct storage and handling procedures, and detailed record keeping requirements. Harvesters must also demonstrate expert shooting skills. Once trained, field harvesters receive a certificate of competency. This certification must be accompanied by accreditation of their vehicle and equipment and their approved food safety program. The approved food safety program documents how the harvester conducts their activities to meet the animal welfare, hygiene and traceability requirements of the Australian standard. State food authorities monitor and verify the performance of field harvesters by inspecting their vehicles, records and hygienic dressing outcomes to ensure compliance with standards. Animal welfare is a key part of an approved safety program and includes adherence to the National Code of Practice for the Humane Shooting of Kangaroos and Wallabies for Commercial Purposes, or the Commercial Code. This code was developed after extensive consultation between government, animal welfare groups, industry, the scientific community and the public. It requires that field harvesters do not shoot if there is any doubt that they will achieve a sudden and humane death by a single shot to the brain. Female kangaroos with obvious dependent young should be avoided. If a female animal is uh, harvested, uh, all female animals are checked to ensure that there are no young present. But if a young animal is found to be present, it is humanely disposed of in accordance with the Australian Code of Practice. The Australian Government requires that all wild game meat come from animals that appear healthy and normal. Harvesters are responsible for ensuring that the kangaroos they harvest are appropriate uh, for food processing. So they're looking for male animals uh, preferentially, large and uh, active animals that are upright and, and moving about actively. Within 20 minutes of shooting a kangaroo, the harvester examines the overall health of the carcass, including its stomach and intestines. Any carcass with abnormal characteristics such as injury, malnourishment or disease is not processed for human consumption. All kangaroos processed for human consumption must have an approved tag. Individual tags and numbers are used to identify the name of the field harvester and their accreditation number. They also identify the place, time and date of harvest. The approved tag is attached to the carcass and must remain intact until the official government veterinarian conducts a post-mortem inspection of the carcass and offal. A carcass is, uh, has a tag applied by the harvester uh, which identifies the harvester. It also has a tag which identifies uh, the day and time and place of, of uh, harvesting and that tag uh, is also used to monitor temperatures uh, throughout the chain. Field harvesters must also keep their own records of kangaroos harvested. Most kangaroo harvesting occurs after sunset, where carcasses must be refrigerated within two hours of sunrise. If kangaroos are shot during daylight, the carcass must be refrigerated within two hours of harvesting. The Australian standard specifies that field harvest vehicles have a special hanging frame to ensure effective cooling of kangaroo carcasses to minimise cross-contamination. Each vehicle must also have facilities for hand washing and sanitisation cleaning and sanitising equipment during processing and effective lights for hygienic processing at night. Vehicles must be cleaned before harvest and again at the end of the day 